Good morning. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Easy. Whoa. Damn fool! You about outstayed your weapon. I ain't gonna miss. We got a pine box for you, boy. Oh, you don't this know what you got yourself in this here.
That horse don't listen.
you. Stay back in the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! I gotta watch! some information might interest a man like yourself. The shopkeep in Strawberry has a moonshine business. Somewhere turning a worldly profit. <laughs> sure, with the right motivation, you'd find your way. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. Yeah. See you again, pardon? What can I do for you? Now, let me see. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. A Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Anything else?
It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Another you got a problem? Center bounty hunter. Take a gander at the poster what there. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. She's sleeping rough near Cumberland Hall. Pound him to hell. I just want to get a drink. I'm harsh. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the wall.
I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Cold hands with that dump. Hold on, kid. There's a bounty hunter. Get him! Elian, I... I'm sorry, but I... I I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the fella. Ow. What kind of man are Ow. you? Puny! Back! <coughs> you are a piece of work. Now, come here. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. Comfortable enough for you? Let's go, boy. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What well, came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? Be oh. quiet with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I I I've done bad things, but... A jail. A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get 
get me help? Mister? Please? Save me. This the help you're looking for? You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? I ain't falling for it. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I That's more like it. Hush. not getting We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Good boy. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she can find herself a husband yet. Yeah, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Come on, pal.
at you. Now, if you want to keep your head, you'll get down from that horse, okay? All right, fellas. It's not... But do anything hasty. Last chance before we let his shooter do the work. Get that... Easy. I'm getting now. Heads up! Up high! Please help me out of here. Are you really gonna leave me tied up like this? It's all right, ma'am. It's over now.
Don't just stand there. Come on, somebody, give me a hand with this. Get this off me! can for you. you. Come back for your money at the end of the week. I can't pay you in full for today, of course. The rest of you, stop gawking. Get back to work. Come on! And you there. Thanks for the help. Arthur, good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns. Riders. Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It can. When you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. 
Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Hold up on this ridge. Whoa! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here. Any minute. <laughs> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah! Just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Stay luck! Come on, boy! Hmm. Be here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. Second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. 
Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a felt shit. Yeah, we're being robbed. Get it, We should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Go on, then. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. You shooting I'm it or not? I'm done wasting my breath on you. <clears throat> that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. 
Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go we'll see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Hello. You new to these parts, sir? I'm a blow-in myself. Take care. If you're traveling, I'll see you along the way. Hey, boy. Whoa. <laughs> Real 
good boy. Hey, there you are. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards miss me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. What? <laughs> I'm back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Arthur! Now, oh, Arthur! <laughs> Mr. McGuire is back! And don't worry about so nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. Let's have we'll have this camp party. running like clockwork. Uh, I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Ah, good morning, Arthur. at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that the face? Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. A lobster. And you'll be a genius. I fell and broke my poor knobster. I watched you as picked from my fobster. How's it going? Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Uh, morning, Arthur. So yeah. I got no idea. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you.
What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll sit... Fish to catch first. All right, this looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. Pull him in! See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna 
pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Got one, Jack. This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Arthur. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. 
Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Morning, Arthur. Good morning. Anything, Jose? No oh, kind, yeah, son. No, I'm fine. Well, I, I heard you coughing a lot last night. Yes. That cold air. It's not helping my lungs. And, well, I'll be dead, but before that, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Dutch did a good thing with you. Taking on more murderers. Exactly. 
generous than I care to count, but he was right with you. I didn't see it at first, but I was very wrong. Morning, Arthur. I want you to know that. Thank you. Hey, Tilly. Hey, you recover from Sean's party? Yeah. Don't know if he has. Okay, fella. Javier? I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? <sighs> you got your binoculars?
Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. If this could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. The coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Come on, let's hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Don't score notions of the dippy Plymouth's head. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. Now can the gag all the now day long? Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. doing Javier okay take cover by the rock over there I'll create a little distraction and then you jump them okay what kind of distraction you'll see
I don't see any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
Hey there, fella. Mister?
Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. People really enjoy that. Old Jack Don, he left the grog shop drunker than I ever seen him. Next day, I heard he got dragged by his horse. Two times Been a pleasure doing you business me? with you. Let's go, boy. All right. Beef, pork, venison, all right here, folks. Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Seen quite a few horses coming through with spaven. <laughs> it's nice to give a little special grooming. I'm looking. Why don't you just back off? This wind will blow you off your feet. Ladies will lose their hats. That's the bastard right there. Help a fella out. Howdy, partner. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <sighs> okay, just quickly. That felt good. 
It's nice to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. here. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, 
What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen! Let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but sh still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing her. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> They're left here, towards Rhodes. It's all back to what I was talking about. You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you tree. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire. Focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for something. Sherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We close, Marston? We're at the railroad. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the track. Mr. Marston? Mr. Smith? Mr. McGuire? Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you, 
I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey! Bastard! All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Oh! Everybody stay calm! The sure. security has been shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag is full! No, I'll get you! I'm begging you! This is I ain't got nothing! You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Oh, it's an impasse. What's the problem here? Money! Hey! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! In the bag, everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. Please, you seem to think please, we're playing games. Don't help me. I want to count to three. God damn it. Sick is better than that, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Just you make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why are wasting our time? You huh? show this Quick, son of a bitch on. we ain't playing around here. I don't want to get hurt. Come on. Uh, everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't make me hurt. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Shoot was on me. Why are you? What did I do? I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Please, please. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We're looking good in here. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Get out of here. Some decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now.
These folks are rich, all right. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Look at the air, on the face! fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah.
Easy. Whoa. Better not have a problem with his friend. Hey, get yourself out of there. Okay. I'll shoot you dead before. <laughs> Welcome back. Liberty is worth every penny. We'll make sure New Hanover gets word of this. 
Thanks. Rain's due to rise shortly. Prepare to farm. Oh, God, you did it. Praise Jesus. Oh, God. I gotta, gotta grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. You saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. My leg feels like it's, like it's on fire.
dodging this here by accident. Ugh. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, oh, I hope not. So what you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many... wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Put the weapon down, please. They've given no cause. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. <laughs> to be fans of modern technology. On the other hand, looks like they may be fans of you. You wanted wolves? You got wolves, Mr. Mason. Hey, so very friendly, are they? They were part of your own business, too, until you strung that bait up. Is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. No, no, no! Come on. 
Snap out of it, you're safe. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to... Literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I was just checking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> the only trophy I need is a photograph, and I hope it catches on. financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? Not looking to interfere with any sensitive financial matters, I'll leave you to it. Hey, we said to scram. See if this safe is worth the effort.
Come in, sir. Come oh, in. Shit. Dry goods on your right as you come in, whiskey on your left. Far wall for domestic supplies. And if you're after the post office, well, it's over there. Fella's an idiot, but don't judge me for it. Catalog right here with my full stop. All right, let me lay my eyes on it. Sure, I'll take it. Tell you what, fine. Why not? Real good doing business with you. Now, let me just look in here. Much obliged. Okay. All yours. Good choice. All yours. Know how to run a good business, be tough, be smart, and be fair. Keep browsing if you like. I heard Thomas Downs passed away, poor fella. Thank you.
got designs on it. Just minding my own business. You want me to set you straight, huh? Get on with it! Disappear! Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. You're done here! Oh, shit! Is that all you boys got? Bring the law into this. There! You see them? Ah! 